Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna play My Time at Portia today. It's a kind of a longer, more like kind of farming sort of game, uh, like resource farming. Um, and you might be asking, Cody, what about all the other unfinished games on your channel? Uh, well, that's a great question. I don't feel like playing any of them, so we're not gonna play them today. Also, I don't want to uh, use my face cam because my room is still not clean. And that's the only way we can get the face cam right now if my room is clean. Now, with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and hit new. Uh, I think all the options are correct. We'll find out. All right, so first of all, we have character creation. That's fun. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. Hmm. They might think of something. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might. I think I'll go talk with the research. I think I'll go talk with. The I feel like this is a good in between. First. I like this one. They might think of something. We're gonna just disable player voice altogether. Now nah, we'll we'll go with the third one. Uh, let's. Uh, we'll name him. What do we want to name him? Let's go with Bones. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately. We've got quite a few hair options actually. The ultimate mullet man. Like more like a silver, like there. Do I want a beard or not? I really don't know. Changing the beard length for this one doesn't really do anything. And this is really all I want. I just want it to be smaller. I don't want this one. This one is not for me. I want this one. We'll just go with this one. I like that. We'll just stick with this one. Let's hit confirm. And choose my birthday. Let's have my birthday be on the 15th of autumn. I like that. That's a good day. We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa! That looks beautiful! What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. How do you do? How ah, do you do? Good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Indeed. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you yeah. the workshop. So if you would please Why did that me, sound so funny? It's pretty close. Already. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. Oh, okay. So we got some world building here. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, let me see if I can... Uh... What do I want to do? Settings. Alright, I just wanted to switch some of the, uh, voice- the audio settings so that the voiceover would come through a little bit stronger. So we're gonna go ahead and follow Presley and see your puzzle workshop. And here we are! Your workshop! Now it's our workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Homely? What's, a, what's an expression? What a description? Now then, here's a letter from your father. We got some photos. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Okie dokie. Bones, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This is also sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my ha workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Okay. Day one, month one, year one. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Porsche Commerce Guild. Okay. Peach Plaza. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Alrighty. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Yes, thank you so much, Presley. Okay. 
Day two, month one, year one. Wake up. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Um, go to the Commerce Guild. What is this camera angle? Can we change the camera angle? Okay, so that's for our uh, inventory slots. To, uh, the scroll wheel. Dash. Space. Okay. Fix the gap. Use three wood to fix the gap. Do we have wood? Oh, I guess we don't. Okay. E to exit. Cool. The glowing objects are most likely to be collectible sources, resources. Press uh, escape to see help. The mission target is marked with a star on the world map. Um, okay, but which one's the world map? Hmm? <laughs> Ooh, we have mail. Check. From Portia Times. This is the Portia Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. The Portia Times. Alrighty. Um, so I guess that means at the start of each season? Oh, sorry camera once and again once again new more resources okay how do we get resources I don't remember I feel like maybe they explained it to us <laughs> I don't know we can't craft anything though we don't have anything uh, but we gotta go to town Ooh, wood nice we got plus two wood now the question is should I be farming this whole area or uh, should I be saving it? Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Uh, very well. Great. Yes. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Okie dokie. You need to have wood and stones to make these. Yeah, it's these. a good thing we picked up all those rocks and uh, own, twigs. We'll buy them from the total tools in Central Square. Oh, we got them already. We can the craft them on our house. You need to craft the items on a work table. Yep. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check it. Alrighty. Arlo, who are you? Yo there. You must Yo be the there. new builder in town. I'm Arlo, the leader of the Civil Corps. I've only got Civil one rule. Mm. No funny business. Then everyone can be happy. Easy enough, yeah? Okay. If you plan to more. visit other cities, I'd advise you to have a Civil Corps escort. Some years ago, Adit went to oh, town alone okay. to get seeds. He was trapped by monsters for two days on the way back. Fortunately, Dawa found him and told us. We were able to rescue him in time. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's, a uh, There's... Fr uh... Neighboring cities are all that friendly towards each other. Now, where is my house? It's up here, right? No, we came from there. Here's my house. Cool, so we can craft a simple axe. From... 13... or sorry. 5 wood and 8 stone? I guess so. We just need one. And then a pickaxe? Just one. Alrighty, I think we're good to go on that front. We can head back to town. Ah! Excellent quality! Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test. You are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. We have an assembly station? Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Alright, so we'll have to check that out. Uh, I guess I, could, I gotta turn on the sensitivity for this camera. Oh, we do have an assembly station. 
do not know that that's what this was. There is a lot of words on this page that I cannot read. The instructions and stuff for the stone furnace, a grinder, silver cutter, basic skiver. A bridge? Okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's, uh, let's go back to the stone furnace and see if we can't craft that. Stones can be found anywhere. We need a stone stool that we can get from the work table level one. Okay. So we need the stone stool first. We need 10 stone to make the stone stool. So now that we have a pickaxe, I assume we can just cut down some trees. Ooh, colorful llama. Wait. What? Oh, we can kill them. I don't feel good about that. I don't like that. The poor llamas. All right, let's, uh, oh, he's coming after us, question mark? No, he's good. Okay, we're gonna run away from them now. I don't really want to fight them. What's this? Gather. Animal feces. And some lettuce seeds. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. And I will leave it because I don't want any more in my inventory. Alrighty. What is this? Capture menu? Wait, what? Oh, We can make a trap for the llamas. Wait, but what can we do with the llamas? What? I don't- I don't want to eat the llamas. How do we fix our uh, quick bar there? Oh, goodness. I did not read this through. Here we go. This is a skill tree tutorial. No, no, no. We just want our inventory. Um, let's see, we want to get rid of this for now and put the stool in first, or instead. Okay, I don't know how we got there, but we got it. Cool. Uh, we got the stone furnace. Fur furnace. Okay, where do we want to build it? Or where do we want to put it? Anywhere? Anywhere will do. Are we able to move it once we're done? Oh, we can't pick it up. Um, I might go cut down some trees in the middle of the night here so that, um, we can fix our house. <laughs> What's the button for inventory? I really don't remember. Well, what do you know? I is, in for, I is for inventory. Who would have thought? We have wood now, so we can go repair our house at least. Use three wood to fix the gap? Yes. Why did I think it was ten wood? What was ten wood? Oh, the stone furnace. Okay, slowly but surely. This one is 20 wood. Do we have 20 wood? No. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna go to sleep then. Ding, ding, ding. Top of morning. Wake up. This house is so worn. I need to- Yeah, okay, I'm getting there, buddy. I'm getting there from Town Hall. Hey, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Corsius currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. Ooh, okay. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your, that, for your safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Fascinating. Okay. We have mystery. And, uh, mystery. Cool. So let's fix this gap with 20 wood. There we go. Our house is now in better shape than it was before. Great job. You pass. Oh, thank you. This is your builder license. Congr now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Oh, Come okay. back and talk with me after you register. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get registered. Which we will do next episode. So I just I want to get all the tu tutorial stuff out of the way in the first episode. Uh, the next episode we'll start doing some of the more nitty gritty stuff. Maybe we'll go check out some of the ruins, depending on how far we get with our building and experience points. Also called uh, leveling up. And uh, yeah, so that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, 
Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this coming at you real soon. Hit that notification bell to see if and when I post next. And uh, until next time, remember to be kind, be safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.